Hello students this is Dr Amar Preet Kaur a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department in today's lecture we are going to understand the meaning of central dogma of molecular biology before understanding the meaning in molecular biology i would like to ask to all of you kindly check the meaning of dogma in your dictionary or simply you can type it in google and check what it is saying well i have done the same and it is saying that a principle or a set of principles laid down by an authority as incontrovertible true that means that dogma it is set of principles or simply a principle which is laid down by any authority or proposed by any authority and this principle or set of principles they are true nobody can dispute over it and uh, if we go for it is meaning in molecular biology but before that there is a question in my mind i am going to put it to you people what is present inside the dna just think for a while did did you got any answer just think okay i am going to explain it dna is containing the information about the formation of polypeptide chain or simply you can say a proteins dear students we have several kind of proteins and the basic units which make these proteins are of only 20 type okay we have 20 amino acids which synthesizes a number of proteins the difference between in the several proteins is actually the pattern of amino acid sequence and this information it is present inside the dna in coded form okay and how it transfers to proteins from dna to rna which is synthesized from dna and finally rna contains this information about the synthesis of proteins and finally this proteins are synthesized clear now if i will go for the definition it says or it explains one way or unidirectional flow of information from dna to working copy rna and from rna to building molecules okay or you can say to polypeptide chain for the first time it was proposed by francis crick in simple words understand that the coded information about the synthesis of proteins it is present in dna and from dna this information it gets decoded into rna and finally from rna the information is sent to the machinery or finally you can say the protein synthesis is happening and the flow of information is unidirectional clear but remember that biology it is a science of exception so here we have an exception dear students this exception it was first discovered by two scientists they were known as tamin h dot tamin and baltimore in year 1970 okay what they discovered was that in certain viruses there was an enzyme and this enzyme has the capability to make dna from rna earlier we knew that uh, the information 
flow it was unidirectional from dna to rna to proteins but here what is happening with the help of reverse transcriptases from rna dna can be synthesized okay so this is exception to um a central dogma and it is also known as reverse central dogma and another is name uh, name is coined um, for this process on on the name of scientist who has discovered this phenomena and it is known as demonism thank you for listening to my lecture in case you have any question or any query you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com